Okay, now I have given you the strategy that we are going to follow here. Now let me show you the proper pseudocode for cruise curse algorithm. So this is the pseudocode. So initially we have set our MST set to empty and then we are going to construct that table which contains the vertices and the current set that those vertices belong to by calling make set function for each vertices. So the outcome of for loop in the line 2 and 3 will be the table shown in the left side. And then we are going to sort all the edges in this graph in non-decreasing order because we are giving priority to pick remaining minimum weighted edge. So outcome of line 4 will be a list as shown the right side which contains the edges in sorted order from minimum to maximum. And then all we do is take a remaining minimum weighted edge and for that edge we are going to find the n vertices sets. If those are not equal then we can add that edge to our MST set and then union the sets that those two n vertices are belong to and finally we are going to return our MST set or completed minimum spanning tree for this graph. Now another point to notice here in line 1 even though I have named this set as MST when executing the pseudocode it will only contain the subset of MST until this pseudocode returns. Okay let's see an example run of this pseudocode now. Now this is the graph I am going to run our pseudocode on and on the left side you can see the table which contains vertices and current set that each vertex belong to. On the right side you have the list of edges which sorted in minimum to maximum order by weight. Now the first edge I am going to select is edge between H and G vertices. Now H vertex is currently belong to set H and G vertex is currently belong to set G. So we can add this edge to our MST set and then we have to union the set that each of these vertices belong to. So here I am going to change G vertex set to H. Okay, the next remaining minimum weighted edge is edge between G and F vertices. So I am going to take that edge out from this list. G vertex currently belong to set H and F vertex currently belong to set F. So these two vertices are in different sets so we can add this edge to our MST and then we are going to union the sets that these vertices belong to. So we can do it by changing F vertex set to H. The next edge I am going to consider is the edge between C and I vertices. So C is currently on set C, I vertex is currently on set I. So these two vertices are belong to two different sets. Therefore we can add H between C and I vertices to our MST. And then I am going to union the sets these two vertices belong to. So I can do it by changing I vertex set to C. Now both I and C vertices are belong to set C. The next remaining minimum weight H is H between C and F vertices. Now C vertex currently belong to set C, F vertex currently belong to set H. So these two vertices are belong to different sets. Therefore we can add this H to our MST and then I am going to union the sets that these two vertices belong to. Now notice that set C has currently two vertices C and I vertices. So I have to change both C and I vertices set to H to achieve the union function. So here I am going to change C vertex set to H and of course I vertex set to H as well. Okay, the next remaining minimum weighted H is H between B and A. So I am going to take out that H from our H list. Now these all upper H also have taken out for H between B and A vertices, A vertex currently on set A and B vertex currently on set B. So these two vertices currently belong to different sets. Therefore we can add H between B and A vertices to our MST and then we are going to union the sets that these vertices belong to. I can do it by changing B vertex set to A. Okay. The next remaining minimum weighted edge is edge between I and G vertices. Now if you consider I vertex currently belong to set H and G vertex also currently belong to set H. 
Therefore, the edge between i and d vertex is not going to add to our MST and we are going to ignore that edge and go to the next remaining minimum weighted edge. So that edge will be the edge between C and D vertices. Now if you consider C vertex is currently belonging to set H and D vertex is currently belonging to set D. So these two vertices currently in two different sets. Therefore we can add that edge to our MST set and then we have to union the sets that these vertices belong to. For that I can simply change the D vertex set to H. Okay, the next remaining minimum weighted edge is edge between H and I vertices. Now, H vertex currently belong to set H and I vertex is also currently belong to set H. Therefore, this edge will not be added to MST set and we are going to ignore it and go to the next remaining minimum weighted edge. That would be the edge between B and C vertices. Now, B vertex currently belong to set A, C vertex currently belong to set H. So these vertices are currently belong to two different sets. Therefore, we can add this edge to our MST set and then we have to union the sets that these two vertices belong to. Now B vertex is currently belong to set A which has two vertices. Now to union these sets, we have to change both A vertex set to H and B vertex set to H. The next remaining minimum weighted edge will be the edge between vertex A and H. Now both A and H vertex are currently belong to set H, therefore this edge will be discarded. The next remaining minimum weighted edge will be the edge between D and E vertices. Now D vertex is currently belong to set H, E vertex is currently belong to set E, therefore we can add this edge to our MST set and then we can union the sets that these vertices belong to by changing E vertex set to H. Now after this step, you can see that all the vertices for this graph in one set. Therefore, we don't have to consider the other remaining edges and we can stop the iteration from this step. So that's how we are going to construct minimum span in tree using Kruskal's algorithm. In the next video, we will look at how to implement this pseudocode. Thank you.